so many people in society today will have you believe that that is the American dream, just doing you, living wild and free, trying everything under the sun, all the drugs and drinking and sex that you can imagine, not having a job to work anymore, just getting free stuff from the government and not having to do anything at all with your life except for whatever you do, just be you. And notice that in the story and in your life, as long as you're living that way, you have an abundance of friends. Everybody's around when the going is good. And I'm sure while he was living it up, there was all sorts of people who we, he would have been calling friends. Because if you've got money to throw around and can throw and have wild parties, people are always going to show up because why not? You're footing the bill. You're giving them free food. You're giving them free drugs. You're giving them free alcohol. This dude, he gave them prostitutes. He gives them a place to crash. They'll always show up for that way of living, and they'll call you your friends until, uh, as long as they have something they can get from you. But where do they go when everything falls apart? Where do they go? Who's in your corner when life comes at you and you hit the bottom? Where do they all go? Because it says a famine hit the land after he spent everything. See, he was so used to daddy's money that he didn't know how to put anything in the bank and save it up, and daddy wasn't there for him anymore, and he didn't have the brain power in order to do anything. So he begins to be in need and everything fell apart and everyone disappears. Because when life hits you and everyone in your life has split away from you, they weren't there for you, for who you were or who you are. They were there for what you had and what you have. 